Hey guys, what's happening? I'm back with another video and this is the first video in a new series I'd like to call Mike's Five Knives. Now, you may be wondering, what what is Mike's Five Knives? Basically, it's a glorified list video. I'm not even going to try to make it sound fancy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I figured I might as well do some list videos and Mike's Five Knives has a nice ring to it. Maybe too nice of a ring to it. Maybe somebody already came up with that idea. Oh well, I'm using it now. <laughs> um, my apologies if, if there's a channel out there that already is called Mike's Five Knives or something. I don't know. Sorry, but leave a comment if there is and I'll change it. Anyways, doesn't matter. You're here for the knives, so let's get into it. So these five knives are five of the best looking knives or at least I really like the, the design of them. This is strictly like a the art side of knives type of video. These five are as you guessed the most attractive knives that I have. I would I don't know that's attractive sounds weird but you, you know what I mean. Anyways let's just get into it. <laughs> it's been two minutes already. Okay where did I put them? Oh here they are here. Okay so, first up is the Wii Snacks Mini Buster. This knife, um, as soon as I saw it on Slicey Dicey's channel, I uh, immediately fell in love with it. The design looks so awesome now. Uh, he had the like, like silver on gray version, and then when I saw this one, um, on white mountain knives, I was like, whoa. I normally am not a huge fan of an all blacked out blade, but these little touches of bronze, like the hardware and then like the outlines on, you know, just a little bit of bronze like hitting the edges here of the handle. It just looks so nice. Everything about the knife. I normally don't like holes in knives either, like in the handles, but I don't mind it on this one so much, but yeah, it's just, Really sharp looking. Yeah, I like it. It's a really nice looking knife. And I like a... Is it a Warncliffe or a Sheep's Foot? Eh, you know, I like that kind of blade shape too. <laughs> Is it going to focus? There we go. I think. Is it going to focus? There. Alright, yeah. See, nice. I like that. Really cool. And the action's pretty good too, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the looks of a knife. Next up is another knife that I saw who I I I can't remember real well, but I'm pretty sure I remember watching Kevin from Knife Nerdery's video on this knife. Not part not particularly this knife, but uh, another version of this knife. And I thought it looked really cool. And then I saw this version and I was like, whoa, that's the version for me. So it is the, I gotta try to say that. I always mess this up. Urban EDC Supply. I don't think it's Urban Supply EDC. No, Urban EDC, Urban EDC Supply Vox F5.5. Is it Vox Nase that does this? I'm really not good at this. <laughs> I don't remember. Everything about knives. I should know. Yes, for Voxnays, I think it's the one that that designed this. But anyway, whatever. <laughs> F5.5. In the bronze. Yeah, with like the anchor motif it's called. It's basically just like a little anchor. Is it, I'll zoom in on it because that's kind of a cool looking little thing. Little anchor right there. So on the other side? No, I didn't think it was yet. Really cool. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, really sharp looking knife. I love the satin blade. Uh, these are made by, this is made by Riot. Uh, so Riot always does, what is going on? Did I zoom out a little too far? Oh, jeez, take it easy boy, take it easy. Anyways, they have a nice, you can see fingerprints on there, but they have a nice satin finish on the blade and you can see those grind lines. Let me move this light a little bit so it's... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 
ho ho ho. That's nice. And then the grind lines go this way on the flats and on the grind itself. They grind down like that. Really nice looking knife. I really like it. And I don't even mind the like silver or grayish colored hardware with the bronze. Normally that would bother me because that kind of clashes technically. <laughs> uh, uh, but it doesn't really bother me with this one. But yeah, again the action's really nice. But that's not what we're talking about. But yeah, it's just a nice, basically a simple design, but it it is so nice. I really like that. And there's lots of different types of uh, handle material, material, material out there. So, you know, if you don't like the bronze, I like it has a nice little weight to it. But if you don't like the bronze, there's micarta, different, lots of different micarta, carbon fiber, uh, titanium, lots of different options. So uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, I didn't, you know what? If I'm talking about the designs, I should show the backspacers, right? That's kind of an oversight on my part, I apologize. This is the backspacer on the Mini Buster. You can see more of that bronze. It's hard because it's black <laughs> to show, but you can see that bronze finish on there too. That's really nice. I like that. And then on the backspacer on the F5.5. Pretty simple, again, this is a pretty simple design, but it's just very, very nice. I like that. Next up is um, my favorite looking Pena. Uh, I had other Penas, I traded them, and I kept this one. This is my favorite favorite one. It's a good size. It looks awesome. It's got a nice classic look to it, but it's still more of a modern take on it. But this is the Pena Lanny's Clip. I almost forgot for a second there. <laughs> Again, this is made by Riot. So you have those really nice, they do such a great job. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on here. There we go. They do a really nice job on their grinds. Again, um, the grind, the lines are going this way on the flats and then they come down on the grind itself. Really a nice looking clip point. That handle. Again, very simple. But it looks so friggin good. Nice pocket clip. I didn't talk about the pocket clip on the other ones, but I'm sure you saw it. <laughs> yeah, really nice. I like that. And then the backspacer on this one. Again, another nice action. Um, it's, is this brass or is it just bronzed anno? It looks kind of like copper <laughs> right now in the video, but it is brass or bronze or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's nice. It adds a little bit of, a little bit of weight to it, but it's not, it's just a backspacer, so it's not too bad. But yeah, nice. I like that. I'm going to zoom out again. <laughs> All right. Next up is one of my more recent purchases. I got this from... Uh, Corey at Staffers EDC. By the way, any of the YouTubers that I mentioned in this, they'll be linked, uh, their channels will be linked in the description of this video. Except for one. <laughs> when these came out for pre order, I thought they looked awesome. Was it pre order or is it just a drop? Maybe it was just a drop. There's so many pre orders, I can't keep up with it. I was really disappointed I didn't get it. And then Corey said he wouldn't mind selling his. So I bought his. It is. Well, you probably already know because I've mentioned it before. I showed it before. But this is the Wear Knives Lucas P. Now, there's, I did some cutting with it so that you can see some smudges on the blade. But I didn't bother cleaning that off because it's not really, it's just in the finish. It'll come off, but I just didn't take the time to clean it yet. But some, I have, when I do my video on this knife, I have some complaints about the finish on this blade. Uh, not. Not anything. Well, I might as well tell you, just so you don't think. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't like acid. This is my first knife with acid etched, uh, with an acid etched blade. I like the way it looks. It looks really cool. I like it better than just like a straight up DLC like black coating on it. Uh, it looks good, but when I cut with it, it's like 
nails on a chalkboard. It makes me cringe so bad. This like kind of like rough texture going through cardboard. Oh, I don't just thinking about it makes my teeth hurt. <laughs> so I don't like that uh, about it. And it's not the fault of the knife so much. It's just like acid etched in general. I do not, I do not like, the, I like how it looks, I just don't like how it feels when it's going through material. So, um, yeah, that's just a very basic nitpick, but you'll see, I'll talk about that more in the actual video on this, but, uh, overall, like, you've got acid etched blade here, and then you have, like, a silver thumb stud, silver hardware, uh, titanium, uh, handle with micarta inlays, natural micarta. It looks so nice. Nice clip point. I like clip points, they're nice. Um, drop points, clip points, worn clips, sheep's foot, I guess basically all the blade shapes look cool, but I like, you know, you can't beat a good clip point. It's really nice, uh, especially when it's done really well. That's the pocket clip. It's a pretty big pocket clip compared to the size of the knife. But uh, it's not a hot spot really. I didn't really notice it too much. But that's the back side of it. And then the back spacer is just a piece of titanium. But it's milled really nice. It fits in flush with everything. And uh, I had mentioned in my unboxing with slash first impressions that it, uh, the action on this, I'll just talk about this real quick. The action was like, I wasn't, I don't know. It wasn't that I wasn't impressed with it, but it was it seemed kind of stiff. I just had everything tightened up too much. So I took it apart, I cleaned it up, added more lube, um, and I didn't tighten the pivot as much. It felt it felt a lot better. And then I put skiffs in it, skiff bearings in it, and it is like fantastic. Um, really nice. It feels so good. So it's nice and smooth, and the action just is an update. Uh, this really doesn't have anything to do with the video, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. The, uh, the action on this is much more improved than when I put it together the first time. Because when Corey sent it to me, of course, uh, to get across the Canadian, the Canadian border, it had to come without the blade in it, right? So, anyways, when I put it together, I just had it too tightened up. Tightened up too much, but now it's, it's perfect now. So, really nice looking knife. Really like that. So, last but not least, and this was not, these weren't in any particular order, by the way. Uh, I left this one to the last because you guys haven't seen it yet. It hasn't appeared on the channel, so I kind of wanted to be like a little bit of a surprise, but it's not a big deal at all. <laughs> but this is the Best Tech oh, <laughs> Morgan Cohen's Tagata. Now, I may be mispronouncing that, but I believe it's called Tagata, as pronounced. Tagata. I know it's called Tagata, but is it pronounced Tagata? Tagata? I don't know how else you pronounce it, but Tagata. Let's say, let's say Tagata. Um, yeah, this knife is absolutely gorgeous. It has like a, not gold, but like a brownish, bronzy, yeah, kind of a bronzed anode titanium handle with a beautiful carbon fiber inlay that's on both sides. It's nice to see that on both sides. That's very important. Uh, it's not well. It's not very important, but I like it when they when a company puts or a designer uh, puts inlays on both sides, so it's uniform. It's nice. Just makes it feel a little more finished. Uh, really nice. I have not even carried this knife, <laughs> so there's no there shouldn't be any scratches or anything on it. Like look at that finish on there. Like that is such a nice looking blade. Nice tanto. Oh, everything's getting really dark. Sorry. There we go. Nice tanto. Look at that tip. Holy smokes. Is it even doing it justice? Let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit here. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at the grind lines on that. That blade is absolutely gorgeous. That's why I don't want to use it because it, <laughs> so, it is so nice. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's like sandblasted or bead blasted in here, so it's not as shiny, but that's nice. I like that. It just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. And then it's got, uh, the pocket clip is more gold colored. 
a little bit more yellow tone to it than the handle. Uh, I didn't like that in pictures, but in person it it uh, it looks a lot better in person. Uh, it's not it doesn't stand out quite as much, and then it's got. Um, see if I can show it here. It has pivot collars in like a kind of a goldish color too. Oh, it gets so dark. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's on both the pivot collars are on both sides. But yeah, it's it's really oh zoom out <laughs> zoom out. Um, it's really nice. This thing is gorgeous. Um, like I say, I haven't carried it or cut anything with it because it's just too pretty. <laughs> uh, I used like birthday funds to buy this knife, so I don't mind just having it sitting on the shelf. I probably will carry it eventually and use it, but it's just too pretty. I don't really want to scratch it up. Uh, yeah, really nice. And the action on this thing is, oh, <laughs> it's, it's drop shutty. Uh, it's a fairly large knife too. I normally don't like knives this big, but uh, it feels nice in hand. I don't want it to turn into a review of this knife, but yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, that is so nice. Yeah, so I bought this directly from Morgan Cohen's on um, Facebook. Uh, if you're a Canadian, I'll do a little quick shout out here. If you're Canadian, you don't really have to be Canadian, but it's nice if you are Canadian because there's not a lot of uh, options necessarily to buy knives up here in Canada, other than the knife distributors that are up here. But there's some knives that they don't get. And there's all kinds of knives on Facebook, particularly, particularly, <laughs> particularly, <laughs> I can't even say it, <laughs> particularly, yeah, <laughs> that just sounds weird. But especially, there you go, especially on um, Canadian Knife and Gear. So if you live in Canada, it, uh, you can join it from no matter where you live. But if you live in Canada and you're looking to buy some knives uh, and you can't really find some of the ones you're looking for, chances are they're for sale on there. But go on Facebook, join uh, Canadian Knife and Gear. Um, it's a great group. I was in that group uh, a couple of years ago. Had a bad experience, I left the group, but I wanted to sell some knives, and it's really hard to sell knives if you're not part of that group, because the other groups on, on Facebook are pretty small, so I joined that group. It's way easier to sell knives on there. There's so many knives to buy on there. So anyways, I'm having I'm having a much better experience in the group now. Uh, I've talked, there's quite a few guys I've talked to on there. Great group of people in there. There's a couple of bad eggs that unfortunately, I those are the people I've met, or I had experienced, the first time, I haven't even seen them on there this time, so maybe they got removed. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, it's a great group of people on there, and and uh, Morgan Cohen's is also a member of that group, and he sells some of his knives sometimes on there. So that's where I got this. So that's really neat to be able to get it right from him. Um, yeah. So so yeah, check them out. I'll leave. I'll try to leave. If I can figure out how to do it, I'm sure it's easy. I'll try to leave, I've never done it before, but I'll try to leave a link to Canadian Knife and Gear in the description of this video. It's a private group, so you'll have to join it. Whatever, it's, you know, easy to, to do. <laughs> but yeah, check them out. They're, they're a cool group. Uh, like I say, you don't have to be Canadian to join it, but if you, you know, Canadians will get a large benefit from it because there's just so many knives on there. So, uh, yeah. Quick shout out to them, although it probably wasn't that quick. <laughs> but um, yeah, overall, uh, these five knives, I know this is kind of a longer video, these five knives are the most attractive knives in my collection thus far. Uh, not to say that the other knives in my collection aren't attractive, but these are just the top five. So um, hopefully you like this video, uh, hopefully you like list videos because I've got quite a few list videos coming. <laughs> Haven't recorded them yet, so I'm gonna to try to fine tune them. I know this went on a little bit longer than I hoped for it to go. I'm gonna to try to keep them around 10 minutes if I can, um, if I can. And yeah, there's gonna be quite a few of them. <laughs> so hopefully you like them. And then I'm waiting on a few knives, but once I get those knives in, 
I keep saying this, <laughs> but they keep, they just, I keep finding like really good deals on knives. So anyways, um, again, Canadian knife and gear, <laughs> but once those come in, I'm going to do, um, uh, state of the collection video, like an overall video. So I thought I I, I thought um, list videos were a good idea, but I think what I'll do is do a collection video and not really talk too much about the knives. Uh, I'll try to pick out knives to do in these list videos, so you can still see my collection and then go more in depth to like five knives at a time instead of like having a two hour long collection video. So I think that would be a better way to do it. And, and then you're probably going to see a lot of overlap in knives um, between these list videos. So hopefully that's not too bad. Um, I don't know if people will mind that or not. But like there's one I have an idea of. It's like the five most uh, like satisfying actions. And this I think, I haven't picked those knives out yet. But like this is... <laughs> Pretty satisfying action, so this may be on the list, but anyways, there's going to be some overlap, but you guys know how list videos work. I don't really need to describe it, but yeah, this is the first installment of Mike's Five Knives. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, like I say, there'll be links in the description to some YouTube channels and uh, Canadian Knife and Gear, so make sure you check them out. Um, that's about all I want to say. Yeah, that should be about it. So thanks so much for watching. Take care.